any geometric formula can be written something like this. It's a sub 1 times the common ratio to the n minus 1 power. And all this does is it helps us multiply by that common ratio a certain amount of times. Okay, So this is the general form for a geometric sequence. We know a sub 1 is 4, but we don't know what the common ratio is yet. We don't know what r is. So let me see. Uh, yeah, there's a math trick we can do to find out what r is. Look, this is a sub 1, a sub 4, and, and in general, it's a sub n, right? So if we plug in 4 in for the letter n into our formula, we should get out 108 over here. So 108 should equal 4 times the common ratio to the 4 minus 1 power, because I'm plugging in n equals 4, and I should equal it to 108 according to my sequence. So this is a little algebra equation. We can first simplify the numerator. So it's r to the 4 minus 1, so I'm going to write that as r to the third power. And then I'm trying to get r by itself, so I'm going to divide 4 from both sides. That's 27. And then if you ever need to get r by itself and it's to some sort of power, like that's other than a squared power, the trick is to raise both sides to the reciprocal power. Like if it's r to the fifth, I'd do, I raise both sides to the one third, uh, to the one fifth power. If it's r to the seventieth, I raise both sides to the one seventieth power. Right? I said five because I was just making up an example. Um, or, in other words, that's a cube root on your calculator. A one-third power is the same thing as a cube root. But that's the basic idea. So you want to take that number 27, and then it, since it's a one-third power, I'm going to find my exponent key. I don't have, have one on this calculator, so let's go to a scientific calculator. 27. Raise it to the power of... I'm going to punch in the decimal form of that, percent, of that fraction. There it gives me 2.99, and that's just an approximation because I used an approximation for decimals. So there's our common ratio. So now we're ready for the formula. The formula for the next term is equal to the first term, which is 4, times the common ratio, which we just found out to be 3. It's doing times 3 each time, to the n minus 1. So that's a real mathy way of doing it. The other way of doing it is saying, hey, this is my first term. I'm trying to get to my fourth term using a geometric sequence, which means you can only multiply each term by a number. So start on your first term. Maybe your guess is that the common ratio is 2. Now um, I'm too low there, right? By the time I get to the third, uh, to the fourth number in my sequence, I'm only at 32. So maybe your guess is 5. And I'm too high. So 4 times 3 times 3 times 3 gets us to 108. That's the common ratio is 3. So that's what needs to go in there for R.